The universe is a vast and ever-changing place. Within its cosmic expanse, incredible events unfold on a daily basis. One of the most dramatic and awe-inspiring of these events is a supernova. Supernovae are the explosive deaths of stars. These events release tremendous amounts of energy. In fact, a single supernova can outshine an entire galaxy. Imagine the night sky suddenly illuminated by a brilliant new star. This star shines brightly for weeks or even months. It eventually fades away, leaving behind only a whisper of its former glory. This is the incredible spectacle of a supernova. These celestial events have fascinated astronomers for centuries. Supernovae are not just beautiful displays of cosmic power, however. They are also essential to the evolution of the universe. Supernovae are responsible for creating many of the elements that make up our planet and ourselves. The iron in your blood, the calcium in your bones, and the oxygen we breathe were all forged in the heart of a dying star. These events come in different types. Each type tells a unique story about the life and death of a star. In the next section, we will delve into the fascinating world of core collapse supernovae. Stars are born from clouds of gas and dust. These clouds collapse under their own gravity. This collapse causes the material at the center of the cloud to heat up. Eventually, this material becomes hot enough to ignite nuclear fusion. This fusion is the engine that powers a star. It allows the star to shine for millions or even billions of years. Massive stars live fast and die young. They burn through their nuclear fuel much more quickly than their smaller counterparts. The intense pressure and heat at the core of a massive star allow it to fuse heavier and heavier elements. This fusion process continues until the core is primarily made of iron. Iron is the most stable element in the universe. Fusing iron does not release energy like fusing lighter elements does. Instead, it requires energy. This means that once a star forms an iron core, its days are numbered. The core can no longer support the weight of the outer layers of the star. As a result, the core collapses in on itself. This collapse happens in a fraction of a second. It triggers a shockwave that rips through the star. The shockwave blasts the star's outer layers into space. This is what we observe as a core collapse supernova. There are different types of core collapse supernovae. These include type II, type IB, and type Ike supernovae. These types are classified based on their spectra. Not all supernovae result from the collapse of a massive star's core. Another type of supernova, called a thermonuclear supernova, occurs in binary star systems. A binary star system is a system where two stars orbit around a common center of mass. In some binary systems, one of the stars is a white dwarf. A white dwarf is the dense remnant of a star, like our sun. When a star, like our sun, runs out of nuclear fuel, it sheds its outer layers. This leaves behind a hot, dense core that is about the size of Earth. If a white dwarf is in a binary system with a companion star, it can begin to pull material from its companion. This material accumulates on the surface of the white dwarf. Eventually, the white dwarf accumulates enough material to reach a critical mass. This critical mass is known as the Chandrasekhar limit. Once the white dwarf exceeds the Chandrasekhar limit, it can no longer support its own weight. This triggers a runaway thermonuclear explosion that completely destroys the white dwarf. This explosion is known as a thermonuclear supernova. These supernovae are also known as type Ia supernovae. They are incredibly bright and uniform. A supernova is a cataclysmic event. It has long-lasting effects on its surroundings. The explosion itself releases an incredible amount of energy. This energy heats up the surrounding gas and dust. This heating creates what is known as a supernova remnant. Supernova remnants are some of the most beautiful and complex structures in the universe. 
they are often characterized by their intricate filaments and glowing gas. These remnants can persist for thousands of years after the initial explosion. Supernovae are also responsible for creating many of the heavy elements in the universe. During the explosion, the intense heat and pressure allow for the fusion of elements heavier than iron. This includes elements like gold, silver, and uranium. These elements are scattered into space by the explosion. They eventually become incorporated into new stars and planets. Perhaps the most intriguing remnants of supernovae are neutron stars and black holes. A neutron star is an incredibly dense object. It is the collapsed core of a massive star. These objects are only a few miles across. However, they can have a mass that is several times greater than the mass of our Sun. Black holes are even stranger. They are regions of space-time where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape. Supernovae play a crucial role in the cosmic recycling plant. They are essential for the creation and distribution of heavy elements. As we have seen, supernovae are responsible for creating elements heavier than iron. These elements are then scattered throughout the universe. Eventually, they become part of new stars and planetary systems. The carbon in our bodies, the oxygen we breathe, and the silicon in our computers were all created in the heart of a dying star. Without supernovae, the universe would be a much less interesting place. It would be composed almost entirely of hydrogen and helium. Supernovae also help to drive the evolution of galaxies. The shock waves from supernovae can trigger the collapse of gas clouds. This can lead to the formation of new stars. Supernovae can also help to regulate the rate of star formation in galaxies. Supernovae are not only important for understanding the evolution of the universe, but they are also incredibly useful tools for astronomers. Because type E supernovae are so bright and uniform, Astronomers can use them as standard candles to measure cosmic distances. A standard candle is an object whose intrinsic brightness is known. By comparing the observed brightness of a standard candle to its known intrinsic brightness, astronomers can calculate its distance. This is similar to how you can estimate the distance to a car by how bright its headlights appear. Type Ia supernovae are excellent standard candles. They allow astronomers to measure the distances to galaxies billions of light years away. These measurements have been essential for our understanding of the expansion of the universe. They have also helped us learn more about the mysterious force known as dark energy. Throughout history, there have been a number of supernovae that have been visible to the naked eye. These events have captured the imaginations of people around the world. One such event was the supernova of 1054. This supernova was observed by Chinese astronomers. It was bright enough to be visible during the daytime for 23 days. The remnant of this supernova is the Crab Nebula. The Crab Nebula is located about 6,500 light years from Earth. It is one of the most studied objects in the sky. Another famous supernova is SN1987A. This supernova occurred in the Large Magellanic Cloud, a dwarf galaxy that orbits our Milky Way galaxy. SN1987A was the closest supernova to Earth in over 400 years. It provided astronomers with a wealth of data about these events. One of the most famous supernovae is Kepler's supernova. Johannes Kepler observed this supernova in 1604. It was the last supernova to be visible to the naked eye in our own Milky Way galaxy. Supernovae are some of the most dramatic and important events in the universe. They are the explosive deaths of stars. They signal the end of one chapter in cosmic history and the beginning of another. These events are responsible for creating many of the elements that make up our world. They also play a crucial role in the evolution of galaxies. As we continue to study supernovae, we gain a deeper understanding of the universe and our place in it. These events remind us that we are all connected by the cosmic cycle of stellar birth, life and death. The iron in your blood, the calcium in your bones, 
and the oxygen we breathe were all forged in the heart of a dying star. We are all made of star stuff.